Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Trailer Valet RVR3 Trailer Dolly. Now, it's gonna be a really neat way to be able to maneuver your trailer in tight situations or places where you don't have room to hook up to your vehicle. Obviously, we're in a huge parking lot right now, but maybe in your driveway where you don't have room for your truck and your trailer, getting this backed into a tight spot, maybe off to the side of your garage, isn't always the easiest thing to do. And that's where the Trailer Valet comes in. This one is going to attach to the frame of your trailer and give you a way to remotely operate and move your trailer. Let's check it out. Now right away, let's just show you how it operates. You can drive it forward, you can drive it backwards, and while you're going forwards or backwards, you can also turn it. Now you don't have the option to press the turn buttons unless you're also pressing one of the forward or reverse buttons. That way it knows which direction it needs to turn, the treads, but it is going to allow you to freely walk around your trailer as you're moving it, so you can check for clearance issues, like on this side where I've got it next to another trailer. I can make sure that all of my clearances are looking good here as I back it into the spot. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to operate. Everything can be done by the remote, I can get around the trailer and see and make sure I'm not having any clearance issues, even though we're very close to both these trailers here. I can back it right up to where I left it, and it doesn't take too long to do. It is fairly slow moving. Under load, it's going to move around 23 feet per minute, but I'm not looking at this for the speed of it. I'm looking at it for the ease of maneuvering my trailer. So if it does take a little bit, overall, I do think it's going to be faster than if you were to move it by hand, if you're able to do that with your trailer, or move it by truck. Now the two high torque motors inside are designed to be used with a single axle trailer. It gives you enough power to tow 3,500 pounds, that's the weight it can move around, and then a maximum tongue weight, that downward pressure on the trailer valet of 600 pounds. Now in order for it to work properly and have enough weight on those treads to let it move around and really get a grip on the ground, it is recommended that you have a minimum tongue weight of 165 pounds. So on those really lightweight trailers, this probably isn't going to be your best option because it does need a bit of tongue weight to make it work properly. Now, that being said, if your trailer is not within the weight capacities of this, don't worry, there are other versions of this that hold higher weight capacities. So those are available on our website. If you need one of those for one of your bigger trailers, we've got those options here too. Something I really like about the treads is that they are a rubber material, very wide and very deep. So going over rough terrain, I think they're gonna perform really well. Anything like dirt, asphalt, gravel. Our parking lot here is not the nicest. There's some really rough patches in certain spots. I'm confident that it's gonna be able to get a grip and move around very easily with these. Now, how it attaches to the trailer here is gonna be two brackets and it includes all the hardware. You can see we've installed ours where the bracket drops down a little bit closer to the ground so our trailer isn't taking a total nosedive and we can set this to whatever height works best for our setup. All of this is very simple to do. Just run the bolts through both brackets, washer on each side, lock washer and nut on the back side, tighten it all down evenly wherever you see fit and you've got a nice strong hold. There are versions of this that are going to attach to the coupler of your trailer and have a ball that sticks up where the coupler can latch onto. Those are other options that are available. Personally, I like this style of attaching to the frame if you've got the room for it, just because it's pretty much ready to go whenever you need it. All you gotta do is drive the trailer valet up to it, hook up, and you're ready to go. Whereas the coupler style, you've gotta get it set up on the coupler. But again, if you don't have room on your frame for something like this, that's a totally viable option too. Now, speaking of driving up to it, let's show you that process now. We've got it hooked up, obviously, but just make sure it's on take the linchpin out of the plates that it's aligned with, make sure that's out of the way of the tracks, and then you can start to drive it away. I'm gonna get it rotated around here so that I can drive it away safely. And then it just walks away. You can see here that the plate that lines up there does pivot around so you don't need to be perfectly aligned to get it out of there or back in. Getting it back in, pretty straightforward. Let's just walk it up, give it a bit of a rotation here. Just drive it on back. Those plates will align. And you may need to adjust the height of your trailer, maybe not. But once it's lined up, just drop that pin down through. You can raise up your jack and drive away. Now, as for the whole construction here, it's an aluminum body. It's gonna be rust resistant. And 
the rubber treads like I mentioned before. It does use a lithium ion battery, which is rechargeable, and on a full charge, it can give you 30 minutes of runtime, which may not sound like a whole lot, but honestly, you're probably not gonna be using it for much more than 30 minutes at a time anyway. I see this really as a last minute, last little stretch of the backing it into a spot where we get most of the way with our vehicle, unhook, we can hook this up and get it that last little bit into a tighter spot on the side of a garage or between two trailers. And on the remote, there is a small battery indicator light. Really hard to show on camera there, but it'll let you know a rough estimation of how much battery life you've got left. Now, the bracket is obviously gonna live on your trailer, but where does your trailer valet live? It does come with a little carrying bag, but you do have to take this mounting plate off first just by loosening up four flathead screws. So get these taken out and set somewhere safe. And once those screws are all removed, you can set that to the side. And this guy can go inside of the bag. Now, it's not super heavy. It's only 45 pounds, but it might be a little awkward to get it into that bag on your own. So you may be better off just driving it in and holding the bag open. But once it's in there, the bottom is a little bit reinforced to help hold its structure. Once it's in, the bag will zip up and on the top there's going to be two carrying handles to make it a little bit easier to pick up and move around now honestly the bag feels a little clunky to me i maybe wouldn't have cared if they didn't include it it's nice that it comes with it but and it does make it easier to carry around by the handles but honestly if it were missing i wouldn't care because it just feels a little clunky getting it in the bag now overall, the RVR3 is definitely a premium product and really all the trailer dollies from Trailer Valet are. They're gonna be pretty expensive, but they definitely work well. And the convenience factor for this, for me, is where they really shine because you don't have to hook up to your vehicle. If you've got a spot where you keep your trailer, maybe off to the side of your garage, or you're moving it into a garage, maybe into a lot next to some other trailers, and quarters are tight, it's gonna be an easy way to do it because you don't have to be in a vehicle. You can have this hooked up, you can walk around your trailer 360 degrees and make sure that you're not gonna run into anything. So you can monitor things, have that peace of mind when you're removing it and get it backed into any sort of spot that you need. Now, if this one doesn't fit your needs, there's, like I said, there's other weight capacities out there that we have, so you can find the right one for your trailer or for your trailers. That being said, that'll do it for our look today at the Trailer Valet RVR3 Trailer Dolly here at E-Trailer. Thanks for watching.